I think the one thing that uh, excited me most about playing on the All Night Long Tour was just the opportunity it gave me to be so musically versatile. To play everything that said Mark Knight, from disco to house to techno and everything in between. Doing the tour really reminded me of, uh, of when I first started playing. You'd go into a room and there'd be nobody there. I love that opportunity to almost retrace my steps as a DJ and start again, and it, it was inspiring. There is something very special about getting people's attention and just slowly building a crowd and massaging that into a, into a night. I was definitely more emotionally connected to the crowd uh, within this tour than I would be if I did say a two hour set. Uh, and that's not because I'm not enjoying a two hour set, it's just that without sounding cliche, we were all on this musical journey together. Um, people would come at 10 p.m. Uh, and would still be there at 10 a.m. Uh, and you would go through this whole experience together and come out at the other end like, wow, we did it. Music can transcend language barriers. Music a lot of prep went into these shows. I really had to think about what I wanted to say and convey within the, uh, the night itself. And the most important part of that was the link records. How do you go from one style to another style? And it makes sense. So that took a lot of time thinking about how I'm gonna go from one scene to another scene. I mean, you didn't plan out each scene, but it was those link records that made you move between styles seamlessly. So that took quite a bit of thinking about. So we did 16 shows across three continents and I've got to say, it was brilliant. Um, we really thought about the tour before we did it, so there were going to be no surprises. This concept only works in certain clubs, um, so we meticulously planned where we wanted to do the shows and it came good. I mean, some of the highlights, Gorilla in Manchester was an incredible show, Output in Brooklyn was just phenomenal. Um, Womb in Tokyo, it's hard to say, I mean, there were so many great shows. One experience that was, that was incredible, we did a gig in Bulgaria and it was freezing. Um, the temperatures just dropped off that night, but people came and we just parted all the way through to 7 a.m. and it was just one of those things that only happens in Bulgaria. The whole tour has been hugely inspiring um, and it's really reignited my passion for soulful house music, where I came from initially, um, playing all those great tunes in the warm up. Um, and I've been straight back into the studio and I've come up with a new moniker, it's called the Return to Zanzibar Project and I'm working on an album already. Uh, would I do the tour again? 100% I would do the tour again. I absolutely loved it. I ain't gonna lie, it was exhausting both mentally and physically, especially when we did two shows on the bounce, but I've come away from it inspired, invigorated, and knowing this is what I love doing.